Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. This man said they gave him thank you for doing what he's doing. That he was giving thank you. That he was giving thank you to do what he's doing. Hey, that was thank you. I'm not giving thank you. Yes, he was giving thank you. I'm giving back. I want to give you. I will give you back. Thank you. I will give you twenty k. Give me twenty k. Give me twenty k. Who give you thank you? Who give you? I know my guy, lah. I'm one of your guy for that. Who give you? The person you go close. What did they say make you do? The person you go close. What did they say make you do? Make the red flag. Ah, ah. Your person not red. Is it ten thousand for all of you or for only you? No, let me. Only you. Only you. Ten thousand. All right, viewers and listeners, it's been reported that a group of men engaged in a counter protest against members of the Church 2 movement who participated in a demonstration at the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly over a rape allegation leveled against the Church founder Abiodun Fatu Yibo. Members of Church 2, hashtag Church 2, were blocked by a human barricade of COSA members who linked arms about 150 meters from the church auditorium in Guzape, Abuja. Aside from the linked protocol officers of the church, there were scores of agents of the Nigerian police and the Department of State Service. About an hour into the protest by Hashtag Church 2, the Profato Ibo group a match with handwritten placards that read, We love Pastor Fato Ibo and Biodo is a great man, amongst others. The members who were said to be laborers working near the church were allegedly paid 10,000 naira each by an unidentified church member. Our correspondent observed that some of them accepted 500 naira each from hashtag church to pretenders to surrender their placards. All right, viewers and listeners, um, what are your thoughts on this as things unfold? What do you think? What's on your mind? You know, the whole saga, it's becoming interesting and it's uh, at the same time uh, taking some twists and tones. But however, I'd like to hear from you what you think, what are your thoughts? I'd like you to leave a comment and your thoughts at the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever a new post is updated thank you